Good morning. Here is another installment in the Div Divi uh, instructions I'm going to give you. As members of the team, whether you're in my personal team or not, you're going to be able to enjoy this. And in, in other words, this is the front page, my home page of my blog, which you can choose to have a separate home page or for it to just be your blog page there is a way to to make that set that way and of course when you do that you can have something that kinda sells for you like I have right here and this is actually a pretty simple page there are plenty of actual uh, formats that are a lot more uh, difficult a lot more complicated I decided to keep this quite simple the major thing is I wanted people to see this big um, this big image at the beginning that gets them interested in looking at more and I actually created this in Canva you can do anything you want it's important for you to make it look like you you don't want to copy me you want it to be you this is where you brand yourself this is where you stand out from the crowd and so if you create this I did this in Canva it's in layers uh, but you can absolutely do that that's in another training I I did which I will upload a little bit later but let me show you where I created this front page so I'm gonna go over to my admin and it's actually a page I called new home because there were others that were default and I didn't want to use their default pages I wanted to create my own so the way you create that is if you come into dashboard and then you go to pages and then you just make a new page and that's how I did it. You just would do an add new. So I'm not going to do an add new right now, but that's where you would start is right here. And then from there, I used, now as you can see, it says use visual or use default. If I change it back to default, it would actually delete my page. So I'm not going to do that. But it comes in automatically with the default, which is the WordPress um, one so you want to actually if I come down here see I'm in the Divi Builder and I like to build things from the Divi Builder because you can actually put your page together in modules and it's really nice and easy and if you want to see where that actual header is it's inside of this first piece called full header full width header which you can add as part of your page so I'm going to go and inside so you can see. Now there's other things I can add. I didn't add a subtext uh, because it's actually on the header. Uh, I didn't change the text color. I mean I did change the top header but uh, I left it alone and the color scheme is actually in the theme settings and that's where I did that. So I didn't mess with any of that but if you come down here you can see where the actual image is and also there's a way to create I'm going to do this later there's an actual way to create buttons and links uh, right here that would on, automatically be on that header uh, and what's nice about doing that is you can actually have uh, places where they can go and find out more for instance uh, it would make a lot of sense I'm going to go grab just from a blog image because I've got it, uh, my link all over the place for this power blog that uh, I want them to go into my uh, actual place. So I'm just, uh, just for a minute, I'm just going to grab my link that I have, which is this link. And I'm going to come back here to that page. Whoops, wrong page. I'm going to come back here to the page and I'm going to add one button. Whoops, that's the wrong place. I want that link right here to go in that page. So I'm going to put that link. I'm going to put uh, text for that. 
So that link is actually up, that text is up actually up here. So I'm going to say get your own blog. Your own power blog. And that's going to be a link that's actually going to be on that header. And so we're, uh, this is something I'm doing on the fly, so you're going to see it as I, as I finish it. But you need to have an, up, uh, an image that fills that space, so you need to find out what the space is uh, first and then put it in there. And then that's what, all I'm going to do for that. So the, let's look at, now make sure you know that you've got to actually save that. And since it's a saved page, you've got to come over here and update. That will make the change to that page. And then we can actually view that page. So that page is actually my front page, so I'm going to go and look at it. which is actually the new home page, like I said. So it actually created a button up here. It didn't do it on the image, but it did it up here. And I don't like that color on the text, so I can actually change that and go back and fix that. So let's go back. So you can tweak, you can change, you don't have to stay stuck. This is so much better. The other choice is to actually go into the formatting and that is harder to do. Okay, so background color, button text, make full screen, text color dark, subheading. There is a place where you can change the color of that. Where is it? I've already done the logo, so I don't want to change that again. It doesn't let me do it here, so that means that it has to be done in... I'm going to go back to the dashboard. It has to be done in, probably in our Appearance tab. So the Appearance tab is where you can actually customize. All you have to do is wherever your theme detail, the theme you're presently using, and then go to custom, customize, and then we need to go to where it shows the button text because that's what that was, is the button. So we want buttons, and we want button style, and here is the text color. We want to change that to red or black. Let's make it black to make sure it uh, stays there. And then we're going to save that. Let's see if that changes what happened to that button. Yay! Okay, so that's it's do doing it just in hover, but that's going to get people's attention as they uh, we don't want to make it huge, so it's going to it's gonna show up just enough for people to, to see it. I don't need to make it huge, but that mainly I wanted to show you how you could create your own front page. And as you can see in my front page, I have a little information about me and uh, about this blog and what it's all about. And then I have a, a video that I did about Power Lead System. And then I have down here again a way that they can go and look at the same, and that'll go to that same link I put on the top. So I like what I did to my changes, and I'm going to leave it th that way. So uh, that, that is uh, your instructions for today. Create your own home page. And the last thing I have to show you is that we need to go back to dashboard and we need to go to appearance again and I've already done this but this would be the last step after you made your page you would also need to go and create a page that's called blog and then and you don't put anything on the page that says blog you just say blog and then save it 
and then from doing that you would go to static front page and see how I've added my new page new home to the front page that's my front page and the blog page is my blog page so you would create a, a blog page and it doesn't have anything on it but it's just saved as blog and then you would be able to go in here and create a static because the default would be that it would be the latest post and so a new home page and a blog page and that's how I have this home page that you see today and that I just even made that one little change to so I hope that helps you and have let me know how that happens how that looks and maybe even share your new home page on my on my uh, on this video you can share that and show people what you've done and I hope that helps let me know bye